Zimbabwe needs to rejoin the re-entry of Zimbabwe. Is a political, is a legal, economic, political bypass against the sanctions. Once Zimbabwe returns to the 54 nations, the men who started the sanctions were the same ones you are coming back to. So, no, wait. We are coming back to say you are readmitting us. But you sent us away. We expelled us. But we still have a disease that has attacked our heart. I'm now, uh, uh, PLO knows that mediation and the peace process, you go higher. I'm now going higher. I am finding medicine for the ailing heart. That when you come in the 54 nation now, you say, hello, I've returned. But I have a problem with one of my wives who was your friend. And that problem is America. Now, can the Commonwealth Secretary General and the British government ask America to remove sanctions? Aha. Uh -huh. How about that? I'll earn about 10 marks. Out of 10, I'll get 8. Piero, how about that? I'm using a political economic bypass. Our re-entry is a political economic bypass. When I saw the ICC cases, we are going to be very dangerous. I went for a legal, a legal bypass, a, a, a legal political bypass. I, am, I want, I want, an, no, I want an African country that is not bleeding. At the expense. I can be, I can be a Pan African, mm -hmm. but I can't, I can't be a Pan African when people are bleeding. This country is bleeding from an economic hardship, where their money is even being devalued day in day out. Okay, if you are given a responsibility, what can you do? You are asked as a researcher, a scholar a professor of international relations. How do you handle this? <laughs> do we go in? Do we go out? Do we remain where we are? Do we tell them to help? We are already gone. Because it is a question of which is on the table now. That's why I'm, for me, I'm saying, maybe why part of the Zimbabwe system is saying Let's go to Chigali and see whether they will admit us. And then there is another part of PLO and Miriam and others saying, hello, no, you punished us enough. We have suffered enough. We've, we have been resilient. Let's stay where we are. And we still have some, some, some dignity left as a people. Yes, mm -hmm. we have dignity. <laughs> you chased us without even giving us notes. Okay, let's stand. Now, but the, 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 the common denominator, what are we both sides trying to achieve? Both sides want to achieve a stable, vibrant livelihood of the people of Zimbabwe. So that is where the leader of Zimbabwe finds himself. That's why we brought, we changed this topic. Instead of saying, about sanctions and why should we return? We say, <laughs> what benefits? And as from Miriam and Piero and the other people who are watching, some have said they will agree with with Piero and Miriam. Some will say, perhaps, perhaps, and I'm not saying that's what the Zimbabwe government is saying. Perhaps they are using an economic, league, political, economic bypass. A bypass to cure the heart problem, the ailing heart, which has got a problem. That what is the ailing heart is the economy. 